demand our fortune. Excuse me, Julian. Pilar said you were back here. <clears throat> well, then she should have told you I was busy. Well, it wouldn't have worked. It's important. It's about Luis. <clears throat> I'll have to call you back, Father. I have an unannounced visitor, Chief Bennett. Don't underestimate him, Julian. He's a smart man. Oh, uh, yeah, so am I, Father. Mm -hmm. Well, I trust this won't take long. I have neither the time nor the inclination to discuss one of your patrolmen with you. Luis is the best cop this town has. I'm here to ask you to drop the charges pending against him. Well, surely you'll realize it was my sister, not I, who had him arrested, though I dare say I would have done the same if she hadn't. Then you'd both have made a very damaging mistake. <sighs> I really don't have time for this. Make time, Julian. A good man's career is at stake here. I'd like you to talk to Sheridan. Convince her to reconsider her actions. This is not about her actions. It's about your cowboy cop resorting to force to impose his will on my innocent sister. I haven't seen Luis, but I am certain. He only put her on that plane in order to save her life. The same thing he was doing when he flew over to Paris in the first place. Well, I... I've heard that version. I must say I, I have difficulty with it. If Sheridan were truly in danger, Louise should have convinced her to call home. The family would have seen to a safety through much less drastic means than kidnapping. Kidnap? It wasn't kidnapping. Louise had no time to call anyone. He had to act quickly. Oh, it's a pity. Unless I'm mistaken, the charges against Luis carry up to 40 years. I suppose he'll have enough time to think about acting impulsively ever again. Is it true that you put up your own home as collateral for Luis's bail? Yes, I did. But I don't see how that's any of your damn business. Well, but it is, since I own the bank. Huh? Did you ever consider that Luis might not be a good risk? I would trust Luis with my life. There's no way he would ever do anything to forfeit the bail. Oh, as a chief of police, you strike me as being incredibly naive. Who's to say he's not a chip off the old block? We both know what Luis's father did when the going got tough. He skipped town without so much as a backward glance. That's your version, Julian. What if Luis does the same thing? You'll lose your home. Your precious family will wind up in the street. You know, I should have known better than try to talk to you. I shouldn't have wasted my time. Is your father going to tell me the real reason that you went back to Paris? I left because... I uh, do you want me to come back later? That's not necessary. Uh, Luis wanted me to leave anyway. Yeah, do what you gotta do, Sheridan. You always do. Please, just tell your mother I came by. Well, at least you two are talking. Yeah, if you want to call it that. Sheridan and I speak two different languages. She thinks I lied to her about something, but she won't tell me what. Well, I'm afraid you have more serious problems than that right now. Tell me about it. Now the guys down at the station taking the bad press. They're all behind you, Luis. I mean, we'll tough it out until you're vindicated. Well, thanks, Sam. You know, uh, Hank told me that you put up your house, so... Post bail. I, I don't know what to say. I don't say anything. You're not only my best officer, Luis, I consider you a close friend. That means a lot to me. Hey, don't worry. I'm not going to take off on you. I believe you, even though some people don't. Julian Crane, I just came from there. I thought I could do a little damage control. Wish I'd have known. I. Could have saved you the trouble. You must have really ticked that guy off in a former life. Worse. This life. He really wants me to hang, doesn't he? <laughs> he wouldn't mind. Unfortunately, he has the mayor in the palm of his hands, along with anyone else whose support we could use. Yeah. So what's the
What's next? I need to ask you a very important question. But before you answer, I want you to think long and hard. Because what you say could determine your whole future. So, what's the important question you want to ask me, Sam? It's a fact that you put Sheridan on that plane coming back to the States with you. No one's arguing that. But is it true that you actually used chloroform to render her unconscious? And is it true that you lied about being her boyfriend in an attempt to avoid answering to the authorities? You want me to level with you here, right? Yeah. Guilty as charged. But that's not the whole story, Sam. If I'd have left her in Paris, she'd be dead by now. Those hitmen, they were not messing around. Are you sure she knew that she was in danger? Yeah, of course she knew. She, she, she was just too stubborn to admit it. But did she tell you in so many words that she didn't want to leave France? Yeah, only like ten times. Look, I know this looks bad, boss. Worse than bad. Well, Under the law, what you did constitutes kidnapping. Yeah, but kidnappers victimize the people they take. And I took Sheridan because... Because what? Because you love her? No, because I was trying to save her life. It's got nothing to do with love. Look, Luis, do you realize the cranes don't give a damn what your motives were? Well, that's We're going to try to nail you, Luis. That's their problem. No, the hell it is. Man, what, mm, what you did without meaning to, you just handed Julian a golden opportunity. He's not going to rest until he sees you destroyed. The court in Boston decides my future. Not Julian Crane or anyone else in his damn family. In theory, you're right, Luis. But we're talking about the Cranes. And they have a lot of influence in a lot of places, including Boston. Yeah, so let him come after me with whatever he's got. I'm not afraid of him.